You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Elwyn, don't you like to dance? I need a breath of fresh air is all. Well, don't stay out here too long. The dance is just getting started. <laughs> Billy Ben, that you? Who are you expecting? You're late. Sure, I'm late, pretty thing. I've been to town today. Why didn't you take me with you? I did the next best thing. Thought of you every step of the way. You got a sweet and lying tongue. And you are a fair young thing. What did you do in town? Stop trying to kiss me. What will folks say? There's nobody here. Just you and me and the man in the moon. You're a right high-spirited man to have walked to town and back. I was there for a right high-spirited reason. Looking at all the pretty girls, I'll bet, in their fancy clothes and high-heeled shoes. None as pretty as you. Close your eyes. What are you putting on my finger? You can open them now. <gasps> Why, that's the prettiest ring I ever did see. It sparkles even in the light of the moon. It's a genuine zircon. Oh, Billy, I'm proud enough to cry. I love you with all my enduring life. And I the same for you. Can I show it to everybody? If that would pleasure you. Oh, how the girls will envy me. Come on, let's go in the barn. The Twilight Zone has existed in many lands in many times. It has its roots in history, in things that happened long ago and got handed down from one generation to another. And in the telling, the story gets added to and embroidered on until what might have happened in the time of the Druids sounds as if it took place yesterday in, say, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Like the story you're about to hear. Even though such tales are best told by an elderly grandfather on a cold winter's night by the fireside, if possible, in the southern hills of the Twilight Zone. And now, the Twilight Zone and our story, Jess Bell, starring Stephanie Weir, with Stacy Keach as your narrator. Friends, now that everybody's here, I am proud to bid you welcome. I want everybody to dance till you wear out the fiddler and eat till you let your belt out to the last notch. <laughs> My land was good to me this year. The good Lord blessed it with rain when rain was needed and a kindly sun to follow. And this barn is heavy with the yield of it. But that's just one reason to celebrate here tonight. A decent, good, and true man came to me and asked for the hand of my daughter, Elwyn. She has my enduring love. And now I've given her my blessing to marry Billy Ben Turner. Oh, Elwyn, I'm so glad for you. Thank you. You must be so proud. I am, I am. Excuse me for a minute. Billy? Yes, honey? What's wrong with Jess Bell? Huh? Well, look at her. She's walking out. Going home early, I reckon. See if you can talk her into staying. She'll come back if she's of a mind to. Night's young yet. Ruin my party if folks start leaving early. Go on. Okay, I'll do what I can. Jess? Jess, Bill? 
Don't you come near me. I was hoping you'd wish us well. You'll have nothing from me but my curses. Oh, no need for you to take on so, Jespel. Do you want me to go in there and throw my arms around her? Tell her I'm glad? Jess, I'm sorry. You weren't sorry the first night you came whistling up Eagle Rock Trail. I was washing supper dishes and heard you call my name, remember? And I ran like the wind to meet you. Jess, don't. All those things you told me, I believed. Remember when we clung together in the sweet night grass on Eagle Rock Mountain and the moonlight made the sea of silver mist on the fog below? I remember. And the day we ran together through the Scotch broom field and the sun was blazing down and we fell together and you touched me and the fire in me burned as hot as the white sun. The fire has gone to ashes now, Jess Bell. It still burns inside. It's different with Elwyn and me. Her pretty clothes and her daddy's land. Is that the difference, Billy Ben? No, that's not the difference. I love her in a quiet way. I don't want to know. You tell your love a thing for me, will you, Billy Ben? What's that? Tell her not to start making her wedding dress right away. Why tell her a thing like that? Because she ain't married you yet, Billy. Maybe she never will. Fair was Ellie Glover. Fair was Jess Bell. Both they loved the same man, and both they loved him well. Go away. I've got to see you. If you come to my house, just walk right in. I don't ask nobody here. Granny Hart? What do you bother an old woman for this time of night? Folks say you got power. Folks say a lot of things. They say that all of Moses Crowley's cows sickened and died after he shot that hawk you used to keep. That hawk was my pet. He used to roost at the black pine tree outside the door. And when Molly Unger's baby was dying of fever, Molly went somewhere and got a potion for him. Folks said she came here. She did. And that baby lived, too, didn't he? Lived, but he's cursed with fits. His mama don't let him out of the house. What else do they say of me? They say you're a witch. Sugar, if I was a witch, I'd be flying around on my broom instead of sitting here at home minding my own business. Whatever you are, will you help me? Depends, sugar. I want to win a man's love. Womankind's got her own kind of witchcraft for that. He was mine for a while. Came sneaking off at night and kept it quiet what went on between him and me. Never took me any place for the world to know. He made me promises. Made them when his face was hot as blood and forgot them just as soon as he was ten feet from my door. Don't know much about men, do you, sugar? Only him. What man? Billy Ben Turner. A pretty one he is, with strong round arms to hold a girl. And a fickle heart like the whole race of men. How you want him to love you, gal? There's lots of ways of loving. Tell me some kinds. As many as there are people. Could you make him love me like he did when he couldn't let a night pass without seeing me? When he'd fight if any other man so much as looked at me? How much money did you bring me? I don't have any money. Then how do you expect to pay me? I'll give you my pearl hairpin. The pearl is real, brought back from across the seas by my daddy in one of the wars. And the stick is made of silver. Ah, silver! Put it out of my sight. That all you got to offer me? That's everything on earth I own, save the clothes on my back. You better go home, gal. Live your life without Billy Ben Turner. I won't have any life without him. You've got to help me. There's something I can give you. 
but the price is high. I told you I didn't have any money. Taint money. If it's in my power, I'll pay it. Oh, it's in your power. What is the price? You'll know in the midnight hour of time. Whatever it is, I'll pay. Take this little bottle. Drink. All right. What was that? The first sign of your new self. Does he love me now? After his eyes fall next on your face, they'll never look at another woman as long as they can look on you. Billy? Honey, what's wrong? I feel faint. Well, let's go in the corner. You're trembling. The night's turned cold. Don't seem cold to me. I felt a cold wind. And something on the wind, like my own voice crying far, far away. I wish our wedding were already done. And me. Give me a kiss. Is kissing all you think about? Everybody, choose your partners. I'm a fool for dancing, too. Then let's not keep the fiddler waiting. Bell, she come back. Come on, Jess Bell. Be my partner. Why, thank you, John. Now change partners and circle round. First man in the circle, choose your girl. Go on round, Billy. I'll be waiting. Hello, Billy Ben. Jess? You look different. Dance with me. Just us two. Well, all of a sudden, I don't feel much like dancing. Let's go someplace. Billy, are you going to dance with me or not? Uh, in a little while, Elwyn. I got to go outside. Come on, Jess Bill. Where's he going? Come along, Elwyn. You sit with Mother for a while. Maddie? Oh, Daddy. I never in my life. What come over the boy? Whatever it was, he better get over it or he'll answer to me. It's a shame and a disgrace. If Billy Ben expects you to marry him after this, he'll have to think again. He won't be marrying me. I'm glad you got spirit, child. I'd still have him if I could. If this very minute he would come back in that door and call my name, I'd go running to him. I'd not let you shame yourself so. But he'll not be back. I won't even get the chance. Jess Bell bewitched him. Just before she took him away, he turned and looked at me. It was like he'd never seen my face before. enough to drive a man crazy. You're a master hand with sweet words, Billy Ben Turner. When we're married, it'll be hateful to leave you of a morning. I won't let you leave. I'll lock the door and keep you home all day. Then how will we live if I don't work my land? When you go into the fields, I'll hide behind a juniper tree and sing songs to tease you home again. And where will the money come from for the pretties I'll buy you? What will you buy me? Dresses of silk and combs for your hair, rings for your fingers, and... There's only one ring I want. That's in my power. I'll get it for you. Oh, you can get it all right, Billy Ben. All you gotta do is ask Elwyn to give it back. I reckon she's gonna hate me now. She can't hate any more than she can love. What'd you ever see in that girl, anyhow? I... I forget. You're a right fickle man, Billy Ben. Maybe you'll forget me, too, one day. Hang me for a fool if I ever leave your side. Looks like the moon is going down. I better go. I won't let you. 
I'm gonna keep you here all night. I can't. Why not? Mama's home by herself. She'll worry about me. You never worried about your mama before. Let me go. I don't want you away from me. Billy Van, let go of my arm. What'd you do that for? I told you, it's late. I can't be here anymore. All right, then. It don't matter, Jess Bell. Can nothing change the love I hold for you? I have to go home. Hold up. Just leave me be. I'll walk you, sure enough. I said good night. Just one more kiss? No! Who was that brought you home? Nobody, Mother. Go back to bed. Honey, don't go right to bed. Come sit a spell and tell me about the dance. In the morning. Good night. Jess Bell, what are you locking yourself in your room for? Because I don't want you to see what I am now. By day she knew a woman's form, by night a witch's spell. For love of Billy Turner, accursed was Jess Bell. Honey? Oh, Billy Ben. I didn't mean to scare you, Jess. What are you sitting out here in the woods for? I was just thinking. I got something for you. Hold out your hand. Ellie's ring. Jess's ring now. It belongs to the one I love, and the one I love is you. Every minute I'm away from you is a suffering and a torment. What do you know about suffering and torment? I know it's finding a girl who's your heart's craving and having her keep putting the wedding day off. There's all kinds of torment in the world. Like the one that comes from buying something and finding out that the price is dear. What did you buy that cost so dear, Jess? Something I love. Do you love it still? Better than life. Better than me? Nothing I love better than you. I've been to see the preacher today, Jess. What did you want with him? You've been taking so long to set the day. I said it myself. He's going to marry us next Sunday. I, I can't be ready by then. I spoke to your mama. Your wedding dress will be all sewed. My house is clean. Everything new and waiting for you. Oh, Billy. Jess, have you changed your mind? No. Then why keep putting the wedding day off? I just can't tell you, Billy. There's no room for secrets between you and me. Wait, where are you going? I have to be gone from you for a while. Stay now, Jess. I got a craving to be with you every minute. Let me go, Billy. I never knew a man could have such love as I hold for you. There's no peace from it, Jess. It burns in my brain night and day. I tell you... Let me go. Ow! What'd you scratch me for? Billy Ben Turner, have you gone and fallen in love with a Hellcat? Womb of frog and heart of bat. Tongue of sparrow, blood of cat. Grasshopper's eyes and lizard skin. Yolk of egg from a strangled hen. Cud of cow and puppy seed. Snout of swine and adder's weed. Graveyard dust and breast of dove. Bubble, bubble, wine of love. Didn't you hear me knocking? <laughs> Never let trouble in the door if I can help it. How do you know I'm in trouble? <laughs> Child, there's little I don't know. Then maybe you can help me. You change your mind and now you got what you want? I haven't got what I want. 
don't tell me, child, that you haven't got the love of Billy Ben Turner. Oh, I've got his love, all right. But I can't take it for fear he'd find out the price I paid. It's the same as if my heart's been cut out and a stone put where the heart was. It ain't your heart, gal. What, then? Oh, everybody's got a different name for it. Some call it... a soul. That was in the bargain, too? That's always in the bargain when you barter with witches. You said you were a witch, that you just had power. Well, you might as well know the truth. Because you're one, too. I changed you, sugar. Then change me back. Gal, you can't ever change. What you are is what you're going to be till you die. Then I hope I die soon. You're looking at it all wrong. Be a witch and take a witch's pleasure. Take the man you bargained for. Don't you think I want to? But how long do you think I'd keep him if he found out what happens when the clock strikes 12? That's the worst of all. Waking up when it's over and not knowing what I've done. Please, I promise I'll pay. Your promises don't mean a thing. You're already trying to get out of paying for the first favor I did you. I can't live this way. Take what you bargained for, gal. It's not fair to Billy Ben. Then go away from here, witch. I've got no time for you. I tell you, I can't do that to Billy Ben. Billy Ben? Jess, I've been out of my mind. I've searched the county over for you, cursing myself every step of the way. Jess, where you been? I went off by myself. Did you think about me? You were all I thought about. And did you think about me with love? Yes, Billy. I won't try to talk you into a quick wedding anymore. Whatever it is that's on your mind, you don't even have to tell me. You set your own day for the wedding. There will be no wedding. Billy Ben. Oh, don't say a thing like that. Not between you and me. I'd as soon hear my death bell as what you're saying. I'd as soon hear my own death bell as say it. To forget it was said. I love you, Jess Bell. I want you for my wife. You wouldn't want me long. One night and you'd turn away from me. Curse me for a fool if ever that day should come. Your flesh would crawl and you would hide your face from me. I set you free, Billy. Take this ring back. It belongs here, on your finger. Hear that? A night bird calling his mate. But his mate won't come. I saw her on the trail tonight, winging up against the sky, but then a night hawk swooped up out of the pines and tore her breast open. She fell at my feet and ran off into the bushes to die. A night bird calling to a mate that's dead is the lonesomest sound in the world. It would grieve me too much to do that to you. Jess, it wasn't an omen. It don't mean you're gonna die. Billy Ben, if I saw old man death come walking down Eagle Rock Trail, I'd run to meet him and I'd beg him on my knees to take me with him. Jess, Jess, what is it that's cursing you? I got a right to know. Oh, it's late. I've got to go. Not yet. Billy Ben, if you love me, stand aside. It's my time. Jess! Jess Bell! An awful night was spent by all on Eagle Rock did dwell Strange things were seen by moonlight's fall But none saw Jess Bell Where? Oh, 
this is barely Ben's place. But how... Take the man you bargained for. Give him a witch's love. No! Nothing can change your sugar. Which you are and which you'll always be. No! You've paid the price. Take what you've paid for. Take what you've paid for. Take what you've paid for. Billy Ben! What? Jess Bell. Morning. You all right? Of course I am. Sorry about last night. Me too. I never saw such a night. Fell asleep at the kitchen table. The animals in the barn kept crying out. The cow got fractious and nearly kicked the stall down. Sheep bleating like they were seeing wolves. I had to go out two or three times to quiet them. Let me fix you some breakfast. Now there's my girl. I'll start the fire. I'll fix it for you every morning, and your dinner and your supper, too. Then go up on the hill and pick wildflowers to make the place nice. Honey, ain't I been begging you to do just that? I made up my mind. Next Sunday, come what may, I'll be your wife. Oh, Jess. You're a long way from home, Ellie Glover. Oh, hello, Jess. What are you doing up here on Eagle Rock? I came to pick some flowers. Same as me. Lots of wild ones around. There's a patch of old maid's fern farther up the mountain. I notice a lot of vixen wood around myself. I just come from seeing Billy Ben. Fixed his breakfast for him. I reckon that's no concern of mine. He's going to marry me when the circuit preacher comes next Sunday. I wish you happiness for his sake. You still love him, Ellie? Still dream about his strong arms and his sweet talk? I love no other man. How come you never tried to get him back? The last time I saw his face, he was under a magic spell. Even the love I hold for him couldn't break it. Oh, there's ways, but... Such ways end bad. What ways you talking about? I think you know. Jealous, ain't you? No. Heartsick. To see wrong done to a good man. I hear there's a wildcat loose in the county. Ain't you scared to be out here? I'll be home by dark. It won't venture out till nightfall. No telling what a wildcat will do. I reckon we don't have much to fear. My daddy says that killer cat will be dead by morning. <laughs> Since when can your daddy look in the future and tell what's gonna be? He's going hunting for that cat tonight. Him and Obed Miller and Billy Ben. All the men in the county. Billy Ben didn't say nothing to me. My daddy's gone over to ask him right now. If that cat's smart, it'll stay home tonight. Maybe. Still, Jess, you're as nervous as a fox in a forest fire. Mama, is it going to take you all night to fix that helm? You never would have had such a fine wedding dress without Billy Ben hadn't given me the money, you know that? I saw Ellie Glover today, up on the mountain picking wildflowers. How did she look? Sickly, like she might die soon. Why, I didn't even know the poor thing was ailing. I ought to fix some of that tonic I used to make and take it to her. You and your tonics. You're worse than Granny Hart. Granny Hart? Everybody knows she sells old potions and things. She ain't sold any to you, has she? Don't talk crazy. It always struck me peculiar how Billy Ben turned from Elwyn on the very night their betrothal was announced. Turned from Elwyn and gave his love to you. Loved me long before he ever loved her. Loved her enough to want to marry, then turned away from her. Why, Jess? Don't ask me. Men are strange people. Sometimes they do strange things because of potions and powders. Is that what made him blind to every other woman? Oh, where would I get the money for potions and powders? That old woman don't always ask for money. Jess, 
How did you pay her? Oh, God, Jess. How did you pay her? With my flesh and my blood and my soul and my heart and my head, I pay dear for Billy Ben. Kneel down with me. Let us pray. It's too late, Mama. My prayers aren't heard in heaven anymore. <laughs> then I'll find a way to help you. If you want to see me alive again, bolt my door tonight. And no matter what happens, don't open it till morning comes. Okay, man, you know what to do. Kind of late in the year for a big cat to be roaming these parts. By this time, they usually range in farther south. Luther? Billy Ben? I brought my shotgun. Howdy, fellas. Howdy. Got a full moon. That cat will be out tonight for sure, hungry or not. This ain't a hungry cat. Kills for the pleasure of it. Hunger or pleasure, a full moon will fetch him out. Howdy, Obed. Howdy, Luther. Howdy, man. Brought my gun and my hound dog. Nothing gets past old Daisy. Good, good. Well, I reckon everybody's here that's coming. Let's pull out. You okay in here, Jess Bell? It's late, Mama. Go to sleep and let me be. But it's almost 12 o'clock. Jess! How'd you break the window? Where have you run off to? Hold on, man. I think old days have found something. Which way? Over there, through the trees. She struck a trail. That's my land. We come full circle. Quiet, Blue. What's the matter with you? What's the matter, Blue? Having a bad dream? Nothing's gonna hurt you. What are you looking at? Something up in the loft? What is it? An owl? Why are you scared of a... <gasps> Ellie! Ellie! Up there! Look out, Daddy! Daisy, come here! Raise the lantern! Never seen no cat like that. Black as night, it is. Shoot, men! I think we got it. Where'd he go? Hold your lanterns high. It's gone. Can't just disappear. The cat was a witch. Witch? Never seen nothing. Daddy? That thing hurt you, Ellie? No, Daddy. I fainted, is all. You see it, Billy? I sure did. Nothing here now. Well, our work is done for the night. Go on home, men. Whatever it was ain't here no more. Can you stand up, Ellie? I think so. I'll help her, sir. You do that while I tell her mother she's all right. I'm fine, Daddy. I'll just be a minute. Here, take my arm. Did it hurt you, Billy Ben? No, I'm all right. I'm enduring glad to see Ellie. Pretty as always. It's good to see you, Billy. It's been a long spell. Yes, it has. What's that shiny thing in your hand? It was right next to you, where you fell, like it dropped down from the loft. Looks like the ring. It sure is. The same one I gave to you once. Only how did it get here? Maybe it's an omen. Elwyn, uh, I'd appreciate it if, if I could come and sit up with you again some night. 
That would pleasure me right fine, Billy. Come whenever you feel like it, and make it soon. Warm was Ellie Glover, cold dead was Jess Bell. And husband would be Billy Ben of the one he loves so well. Come on in. Hello, Billy. Miss Ossie, what are you doing here? I won't stay but a minute, Billy Ben. Just wanted to wish you all the happiness in the world on your wedding day. I appreciate it, Miss Ossie, but won't you be at the wedding? I wouldn't spoil the day for Elwyn. She'd see me and think of Jess Bell. There's no shadow of Jess Bell between Ellie and me. God grant there never will be. A full year now Jess Bell's been dead. How do you know she's dead, Billy? I saw her die. Billy, I brought you something. This pearl and silver stick pin. It used to belong to Jess Bell. Poor Jess. I appreciate it, Miss Ossie. It's made of silver. And silver is one thing a witch is scared of. What witch could want to harm Ellie? There's a terrible thing I've got to tell you. A secret about Jess Bell. What secret? That same night she disappeared, she mentioned Granny Hart. Jess Bell was witched. <laughs> it's a bitter thing for a mother to know that her only child's a witch. Billy... She ain't dead. I was there. Fire some shots myself. Billy, some months back, I went into Jess Bell's room. Sitting on her pillow was a wart toad. I grabbed a broom and brought it down with all my might. That toad disappeared in a puff of smoke. It could have been a cloud of dust. It was the spirit of Jess Bell. Another night, a bat flew in the house. I tried to kill it, but it turned to smoke, too. Miss Ossie, I saw her die. Don't you know you can't kill a witch? They just change into something else. If a person is good and strong, then a witch can't harm them. Ellie will have nothing to fear from Jess Bell. And now, Miss Ossie, I, I'm going to be late for my wedding if I don't hurry. I hope and pray, Billy, there'll be no one there who wasn't invited. love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth. According to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I now pronounce you man and wife. Come on, honey, let's get on home. Yes. Billy Ben looked a mite nervous, like he was going to pass out. Well, I remember feeling the same way when I married you. Oh, <laughs> you get along now. <laughs> Here we are, sweet thing. Billy Ben, are you going to let your bride walk across your threshold? Never. Now put me down if I'm going to get changed out of this pretty dress. Billy! What's the matter? Something has hold of my arm. It ain't me. But I can feel it. What are you doing? I don't know. I... What'd you do that for? It wasn't me. It sure was your hand. Oh, Billy, I drew blood. I never did that of my own will. Something's took hold of me and moved my hand. I didn't see nothing, Ellie. There's something in this room. Something we can't see nor hear. Something evil. Can't you feel it? Um, not sure. Look, a mouse on your grandfather clock. 
Ellie, careful! Oh, Billy, it could have killed me. I've got you, honey. It was a mouse, as black as night. Take me home. This is your home now. But something doesn't want me here. I know what it is that's trying to chase you out. Sit down. Hold on to this Bible. I gotta be gone from you a short time. Do you trust in the Lord? Yes. Then his word will keep you safe. If the devil himself comes in this room, don't leave that chair. Doors open. Granny Hart, I'm short on time. You need a new sweetheart? I got one, and I just made her my wife. Ellie Glover with the golden hair. Ah, she's a beauty. I'll not have her beauty long unless you tell me how to rid myself of a witch. Jess Bell don't like you being married. I'm the one who witched that gal. So she could win your love, Billy Ben. I never wanted no witch's love. Witch's love is wild and sweet. Humans don't know nothing about it. I know enough that if anything happens to Ellie, I couldn't live without her. Jasbel won't hurt your little wife. She's just pleasuring herself a little, teasing and having a good time. Granny, my wife's alone. I, I gotta get back to her. Then go, boy. Nothing holding you here. How can I rid myself of Jasbel? You could kill her. There's nothing to kill. She just turns to smoke and then comes back again. There's ways. What you gonna pay me? I brought money. <laughs> Not enough to kill a witch. This is all I got. Take it or leave it. Mm. I'll take it. Now go home. Get a dress that Jess Bell has worn. Hang it up so it looks like she's standing there. And then... If you're man enough, stab it through the heart with silver. I'll do it. It's got to be one she wore. This was to be her wedding dress. She put it on once when I was making it. Thank you, Ossie. For me and my bride. And Billy, if your hand fails you, remember there was a good part to Jezebel, too. And that part of her would bless you for ending her torment. I told you not to leave the house. I wanted to wait for you out here. What's that package? Stay outside a minute longer. That thing you felt was the spirit of Jess Bell. She was a witch, Ellie, but I know how to get rid of witches. All right, but you'll never be rid of me. Jess Bell. Come on, Billy Ben. Dance with me in the moonlight. No, get away. Let me in. Take the dress. Hang it up. She's standing here. Okay. Now, the stick pin. Oh, Billy. Oh, what have you done? Stabbed you through the heart. Just like Granny Hart said. Oh. Now I'm giving you your eternal rest. Oh, Billy. Goodbye, Jess Bell. I loved you. Billy Ben. Nothing left but the dress. Ellie! 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 Let hell swallow me if I've killed you too! Billy, I remember a wedding. Did I dream that? No. You are my pretty little wife. Then I should be cooking you some supper. Help me up. Not too fast. Look up there, Billy Ben. That star just danced in the sky, then went shooting down behind Eagle Rock Mountain. 
My mama says when you see a fallen star, it means a witch has died. So I've heard tell. Come on inside. It's our wedding night. Was Ellie Glover, dark was Jess Bell. Both they loved the same man, and both they loved him well. A tale told in one form or another, as long as there have been people to tell it. And if you're thinking it's just a fairy story, here's a piece of advice. The next time the moon is up, put another stick on the campfire. And if you see a falling star, be sure to make a wish. It just might keep you safe from the great darkness out there. A darkness that extends all the way from the Blue Ridge Mountains to the Twilight Zone. Jess Bell, starring Stephanie Weir, with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etchison and written for The Twilight Zone by Earl Hamner, Jr. Heard in the cast were Jeff Lupatin, Michelle Graff, Linda Ryder, Roderick Peoples, Meg Falcon, Peggy Roter, Doug James, Craig Harris, Jennifer Leterio, Choby Cerny, Carl Amari, and Roy Malanzi. Musical bridges for this Twilight Zone radio drama sung by Doug James with guitarist Roy Malanzi and harmonica by Jeff Lupatin. The producers of the Twilight Zone wish to thank CBS Enterprises and the Rod Serling Estate for making this series possible. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari for Falcon Picture Group. Sound design and custom Foley effects for the Twilight Zone by Cerny American creatives Bob Benson, Craig Lee, Michael Slaybach, and Matt Sorrow. To learn more about the Twilight Zone radio dramas and to contact us, visit our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. Doug James speaking.